Money Show with Russ Mitchell, Tracy Smith, and Ira Joe Fisher, coming to you from Fifth Avenue in New York City. When it comes to shopping, some of us love to shop till we drop, and some of us loathe it. But at some point, we all have to do it, and the experience can evoke some powerful emotions. Karen Post, the branding diva, is here with some tips on how to work through these conflicting emotions so we can shop with clear heads. Karen, good morning. Great to be here. Thanks. Oh, our pleasure. So I think a lot of us have weaknesses. Some of my girlfriends, it's shoes. Some men, it's electronics. For me, if I see something on sale, especially if it's like a cashmere sweater, I can't walk away from it, even if I don't need it. What is that about? Well, retailers know that we've got these soft spots, so they do a great job in creating stimulation and experience that gets us all worked up and it evokes all of our emotions and makes you want to stop shop till you drop. Let's talk about some of those emotions. The first one of course is excitement. Oh absolutely because if you just think about the shopping experience today music, scent, displays, merchandise, um, trained salespeople. I mean, they make it fun and exciting, and it's like going to the theater sometimes. So that's great, but what comes along with that, and this sometimes goes in stages, is anxiety. Absolutely. Number one, we have so many choices, so that can be overwhelming. Um, you know, sometimes peer pressure, um, pressure from the salespeople, just all of the excitement um, can make us a little stressed out. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was telling you a little bit earlier that I went into a department store and one of the salesmen was telling me that a woman actually bit him. She was so stressed one time, so that definitely happens. Yeah, yeah, people I think get a little over the top when it crazy. comes to shopping. And then thirdly, buyer's remorse. We have regret sometimes. You know, a lot of times we buy something, then we find it somewhere else for less money. It, it makes us feel guilty, it upsets us, or you charge it. And then until you get your credit card bill, you know, you're a little bit, um, you know, out of reality, and then you get that bill and you've got that hangover, or that high turns into the hangover. The hangover. So let's walk through. You have some tips for people to get past some of these negative emotions. The first one is plan your mission. Absolutely. You know, and even allocate a time period. Like, just don't block out the whole day to just go on a free-for-all shopping. You know, schedule some time, have your list of what you're looking for. Okay, so don't just go randomly know exactly what you're looking for. Right, because otherwise you're going to be overwhelmed and you're going to be, you know, possibly buying things that you don't need and then having that remorse set in. Mm -hmm. Okay, also do your homework. You know, with the internet, you can check out everything. I mean, from fashion to electronics, you can find out prices, um, what stores have, all of your options. If you do that in advance, it's going to be easier to control. Um, the amount of buying that you do. That makes sense if you know how much something is supposed to cost and what your other options are. That makes a lot of sense. You can also leave something, go do your homework, and then come back to it, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, and then sometimes if you know that you tend to buy things, maybe too many things, shop with a friend. They know kind of who you are, so they're there for some support. And along with that, you should shop where you feel comfortable. Where you feel comfortable, and don't shop during peak hours because a lot of times the the pace and when a store is really busy, you may feel um, you know that you're that you're feeling pressure to move quickly, make decisions, not think things through. So I suggest you know shop off peak times, go to places where you trust people, where you're comfortable. There are some places, and I guess this is a personal preference. There are some places where the salespeople are very intense, right. and I guess some people like that, and some people yeah, don't. Yeah, and it can be. Intimidating, you know, especially if you're buying something that you're not familiar with. Like electronics today is a little mind-boggling for many of us, or, or even you know, fashion for men, or or if you just got promoted and you've got a new look that you're trying to achieve, that can be an intimidating situation. You just hit on something that I want to talk about. You always see those men in the women's section of the store, sitting in the chair, all forlorn, as the wife or the girlfriend is shopping. Men and women obviously have different emotions when it comes they to do, shopping. They do, and women tend to be more emotional. Women uh, many times will shop as medication, as therapy. They're stressed out, they're having a bad day, something's not working the way they want it to and shopping you know makes you feel better. And, and you have a tip specifically for people who shop as therapy to make them feel better. Well if you tend to overspend and I say don't pack your plastic put cash in your purse and go visit a dollar store. You can do less damage there. <laughs> a dollar store rather than Neiman Marcus. That's right, that's right. All right, fantastic advice. Thanks so much, Karen. Oh, you're welcome. Still ahead, what we really know about the life of Jesus. You're watching the Saturday Early Show on CBS.